Hello guys, this is Nick from HF Survival School. Thank you very much for joining me. Today uh, I'm going uh, in the west uh, west uh, side of my country. Uh, I'll be uh, living in the countryside and uh, I'll be spending a few nights in the woods and I'll be doing a lot of hunting. But uh, I have really small amount of time. I'm living literally in like two and a half hours. So I don't know if I will put this video up, if I will have time uh, to edit this video and put it up. But uh, until that, I thought I would share with you what gear I'm taking with me. So first of all, of course, is my shotgun. This is a uh, new shotgun uh, for me. It was gifted by my father. He, he gifted this to me about uh, three weeks ago. Uh, it was an early birthday gift. It is a Russian Oz uh, 34R. It is a great 20 gauge shotgun. Of course, I'll be taking this a lot of ammun ammunition. And as for gear, well, first of all, uh, my pack is the Swedish uh, military LK-35. I just love this uh, pack and I ordered it. As you know, uh, uh, this kind of gear is not available in Georgia, so I have to order it ab from abroad. And I, it cost me like arm and a leg to ship, uh, to ship this uh, backpack in my uh, country. But uh, every uh, penny was worth it. So let's uh, take a really quick look about, uh, about what I have in it. So, first of all, when I open it, on the bottom, I have my sleeping mat. This is a really cheap sleeping mat, which you can buy in the, uh, the regular outdoor stores. Uh, and uh, it is really um, not worth the carry because it doesn't do a lot. And uh, I need to change it really soon. But I have problems finding a uh, good sleeping bag because I'm really long and uh, not, all, not many sleeping bags have long versions. But I'm sure I will find something. Then on the top of it, I have this. Uh, US military surplus kind of waterproof water resistant bag and in it I have my uh, sleeping bag you have uh, you guys have seen this sleeping bag in uh, a few of my overnight videos uh, uh, I this old sleeping bag I will need to change my sleeping bag also so when we open the pack here is the Hatchet, my Husqvarna hatchet. I'm, I really love this hatchet. It doesn't take too much place and it is quite heavy uh, for this size hatchet and it is great for splitting and for its size it uh, does the job really good. Then uh, I have the, my tarp on it but uh, I will unpack all of my uh, backpack and I will be back with you guys. So here I unpacked all of my gear and uh, first of all uh, as I said the Swedish military LK35 it is a pretty good pack and it is pretty heavy, but I like to find the perfect place between uh, being heavy and durable and it is really durable and worth all the weight. I have some small amount of cordage. I have some tent packs. I think I have six or ten tent packs. Then I am really fond of this cutting plate, which I use with my US military surplus mask kit and it really comes in handy all of the time. This is my uh, AquaQuest waterproof uh, tarp 3x3. Three three. Uh, then this is my gun cleaning kit. Everything what I need to clean my gun after I'm done hunting. Then my X. In this flask I have some whiskey and I got pretty few questions about pretty often about what uh, drink do I like to drink and uh, I um, uh, in the last uh, few months I'm really fond of uh, Grant's whiskey. I uh, really underestimated it when I was uh, smaller by age but uh, these few months I really like it and I always carry it. Then are my Wells Lamont leather working gloves. Then is my pot, my billy can pan, which has a few kind of pan, pans or containers inside. As you see, this is a, this is a great pot. Then I have my Arkansas uh, 1000 grit stone. I have my headlamp. I have my Mora heavy duty. It needs a little bit cleaning in my custom made leather sheath which I, which I made by myself then I have my opinel knife which is my food knife I use it with uh, for cutting food 
turn is my uh, big ferro rod. I made the handle and I made the belt loop. Then is my Mora scraper. I don't always carry this, but it is worth carrying because I don't uh, the I don't really have something to scrape the ferro rod with because uh, the more heavy duty doesn't have a 90 degree spine. Then comes my Baco lap lander in its uh, custom made leather sheath. And I have this US military surplus canteen and a container to carry water. It, there, in this it goes, I think, a little bit over one liter of water. So this is all of the gear which I need, plus the sleeping bed and the, and the sleeping mat. And, and of course, plus food and water. What I need to uh, spend uh, about uh, up to two nights in the woods. I don't think I need anything more. And I say uh, up to two nights because uh, I doubt that I could fit any more in this pack. But I think it is pretty enough. And uh, as, for, as for clothing, I always get asked about what clothing do I wear. I always wear military surplus because you know if it is good for the military, if it, it is, then it is good for me. Uh, and uh, I will wear my uh, military uh, surplus pants, which are made from heavy duty cotton. Uh, I have the military surplus pullover. Uh, I have the military surplus uh, base liners and everything is military surplus. I almost forgot to mention my first aid kit. Nothing special, just a basic first aid kit for all of the uh, kind of boo-boo kit for small cuts. I have some soap, I have some hand sanitizer, I have some uh, small amount of medicine, some, uh, some of the medicine from headaches and diarrhea and stuff like that. And also I'll be going duck hunting. so. I need to stay really warm and I have this really good, uh, I think it's German military surplus hat. It is merino wool inside and just a regular wool hat. And uh, for, with all of the clothing I think that will be enough to stay in the woods for uh, one or two days. And all of this gear will be enough uh, to go hunting, uh, to cook all of the uh, birds if I kill any. Thank you everyone for watching. I really wanted to make this video because I won't be able to upload another video for like until uh, one more week uh, because I will be there in the countryside and there is no internet there and I wanted to leave some kind of new content for you guys because you know how special you are for me. So guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment down below what do you think about my uh, gear or kit, what do you suggest me to add in it or remove from it. And I hope uh, I, will have a, uh, I will be able to film some good uh, hunting videos and see you guys soon. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.